TFCon 2023 with a very, very special guest, Mr. Paul Eiding, Receptor himself. How's it going, Paul? That's me. All is well. I'm at TFCon. All things are good. Yes, thank you for coming back to TFCon Toronto and he's going to sign my beloved Transformers the Movie the DVD. He played Receptor and uh, one of the faces of the Quintessons as well, I believe. I am. I am! <laughs> Talk about multiple personality disorder. Yeah. Those point of signs. That's great. That's awesome. That? I'm going to take a shot of that real quick. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, quick question for you as I achieve your table. So I'll save some time here because you got a lot of fans that want to see you. I love this picture of the guy with the, uh, the microscope. Is that you? That could be you down there. The artist by the name of Ben Hansen yeah. said that's, he decided that's me during the time when we were making. Oh, okay. Uh, you had the goatee going. G one back in 1985, 86. Awesome. So I said, yeah, I'll take that. He's a little thinner than I would have been, but I'll accept that because I thought his work was wonderful. Um, in Transformers the movie, I just want to ask you really quick. Um, when you got the script for Transformers the movie, as you were a, a Transformer before the movie came out, so were you worried about your character getting off? I mean, once you saw all the characters that were getting killed, were you worried about Perceptor too? <laughs> once we saw them, nobody knew until the day we were recording what was happening, who was getting killed, who wasn't. Because we didn't get the script in advance. I don't remember getting any of the script until the day we were uh, recording. Uh, as it went on, yeah, you didn't know. Um, I'm shocking. Go ahead. It's been shocking and lucky as well. It's been like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I've always been upset in fact that all of the different types of um, posters they made until this year, Perceptor's not on any of the posters. But I lived through the movie, so I should have been on the poster. Maybe they, maybe they were saying a fond farewell to all of them. Anyway. Uh, it was great. Uh, the uh, next question I got to ask you real quick is about your Metal Gear Solid work as the Colonel in several games. What was it like working on that game? It was great because back in the day when we recorded it, we recorded it the way we recorded the Transformers. Everybody was in the room at the same time. So that's that's what actors want. They want to be in the room at the same time. So you can uh, be spontaneous, be real with the other actors. Nowadays, you're just in there by yourself. Uh, I prefer being with the other actors, feeding off that energy. Yeah, it's more like a theater, it's more like a play. You know, playing off and that's where I came from, I came from theater, so that's why I prefer. Yeah, definitely makes the chemistry better. And uh, one last thing, Paul, i got to mention is, of course, you've done a lot of live uh, action work as well on camera. I've seen you in so many TV shows, like Cheers, and like uh, little parts here and there. I saw you on Amazing Stories once. Uh, I think it was the Patrick Swayze episode, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that was, was that the one? That, yeah, it was with Patrick Swayze, and basically, that was the Green Mile before the Green Mile movie came out. Right, he had special powers, yeah. Uh, I played with Doctor, and uh, Patrick Swayze was a guy who was supposed to be executed, and something happened, he got electrified somehow trying to escape. And then he had the power to heal other people. Uh, and the end of the sh uh, story was cool because they did try to execute him, even though he had. He, I think the, the warden's daughter was blind and he touched her and brought her eyesight back, but he still had to execute him. But at the very end of the show, Hector Elizondo, who was a wonderful actor, played a sergeant. Uh, they're wheeling him back from being executed. And at the very end of the show, you see him open his eyes. So you can't execute a man twice, so he's definitely going to live. But I think he had also, at that point, he had changed who he was going to be. He wasn't going to be a bad guy for the rest of his life. Anyway, but it was basically the Green Mile before the Green Mile came out. You've done so many great roles in animation. Ben 10 is one I also wanted to mention, of course. That's awesome. You've done so much great work. And uh, I'll get out of your hair now, Paul, and let these fans uh, meet you. Uh, thank you so much for coming back once again to TFCon Toronto. Happy to be here, man. Yeah, be well. I know. I saw the start.